Do you need any help?
subject, but because of the fact that you approach the theme from very different sides, you speak with different voice. Sometimes very low, or sometimes very high. Yes. To keep the attention. It's not important what you say, it's important how you say it. Right? So I would like to try to discover the piece a little bit by approaching the music in a different way. Yeah? Okay, well, let's first have a general look at the piece. Are there any similarities between the very different parts of the piece? The opening is very different. Then comes the fugue. Like what we did yesterday, finding out important. What are the important notes in this piece? You find always the important notes in the exordium, in the first, the first, very first moments of the piece, you find all the material for the whole piece. Because he says, I'm speaking today about this. the theme of your, your speech, of your discourse. If you have no idea what your theme is, how can you make the discourse interesting? Right? Okay, do you recognize the theme, by the way? that this material they used in their pieces was very sort of similar, a, a kind of common language. Yeah, they used the same symbols, they used the same material. When my theory that this is based on chorales is correct, then it, it could be a very good explanation because they used these pieces in the liturgy. Many people have other opinions on this. They say, for instance, this piece is unplayable in the main tone temperament. 
So what's doing the never played this piece on the organ? He played it on the glove record. Well, he never played it. There are many people who said, say, say that he never played them. They were examples. Yeah, sorry. You bake a cake and you don't eat it. <laughs> I don't understand that, you know? Many girls do this. He's not a girl. <laughs> Harold Vogel wrote a very interesting preface to some of the North German repertoire new editions and he speaks about the, the tuning system and of course in North Germany they tuned Minto but it was not pure Minto they were already experimenting very much with changing some notes like the D sharp or the G sharp so that these pieces were really playable in the liturgy. Okay, uh, his registration. I'm just first observing what he is doing. I found his registration not coherent. So I heard several times, I heard the manuals here, and then I heard the pedal there, and there was a huge gap between the two. Yes? It's impossible in the few to have a huge gap between the first three voices and the fourth voice. That should be like a choir, yes? Because otherwise the, the pedal is unclear. It sounded a lot more like oh, 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 oh. Yeah? Okay, so this all supports the idea that these pieces were played in plain. I think. So let's just try that. I don't say that you have to play it in plain, it's your own decision. But I play them in plain because of the coherence of the sound. In other words, the change of character, which we should really emphasize, the change of character in the, in the different parts of the piece, in the different parts of your discourse, huh? propositio, confutatio, confirmatio, they are very important things, and that should be supported also by the sound, but, of course, by a different so there must be a significant difference. Yeah? Also in the way he composes, you see, he is composing in very different styles. Here you have the 12, 8, different time signatures. And that should be, in fact, the basis for a different kind of approach. Yes, shall we try that? Okay, now you did, you did a lot of freedom in the beginning, and I would like to know from you what, what is your motivation of how you how you phrased the open and what are the rules in the in, in, in rhetorics for this can you play me the first line you know here this is the exodus it starts now is not to make you ridiculous, right? But I have a colleague and we were once in the jury of a competition and somebody started like, and he said, imagine this person is talking to you for an hour. <laughs> yeah. So you, you, you come for your audience and you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah? Okay, I think the comparison with speaking is really the most important, with language, is the most important thing for us. Determining your tempo and the character of, of course there are some fast notes. Eh? Okay, what kind of observations could we use for phrasing and so on? We have, we have to distinguish between two things in language. They, those are the grammar rules, the grammar figures, the figures of how you write the language. You know, there are three grammar figures. No, that's a style figure. Anabasis, ascensus, descensus, katabasis, or 
circularity. Yeah? These are the rules for phrasing. So, first figure, second figure. Yes, I think it sounds rather logic. Following the, the figures going up, going down, and the circuits. Can you try, please? Yes. Yeah. And the mood of this piece is not very. I mean, it's it's not it's not wild. It is rather for me. It's a bit. It's a bit melancholy. A bit melancholy. Interrupt too much the whole line up to this note. That was beautiful. So this is another Anabasis figure. Da 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 di am bam bam. So there are no excess. The excess are there where they are. And they are in different places. Huh? So this is a very strong accent. And then comes palm. Accent on the fourth beat. This is like an upbeat flourish to the Yes. Sort of in disguise. Can you try again? So that the
notes and look. The change of direction is an important place to, to have a look, to look around. You know? Try. And don't be afraid to be free. Just do it as you feel it. One more time. You can take as much time as you want, but not in the figure. You can stop that line. The line is very consequent and uh, uh, comple complementary. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. And you can take more time. Nicely articulated. Try, to, try not to play staccato or detached without any weight because then the sound is. It's a heavy arm, but with articulation. Yes, fine. You are a pianist. Yes. Yes. Okay, not with high fingers. No. We never play. On the key. Yes, good. Yes, yes.